Hi, I'm Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions, and today I'm going to be doing a video on memory configuration for the Dell R710 server. So, first to go over the memory, uh, as far as the maximum amount that you can have in the server, there are two different sets depending on the type of memory you're using. If you're using higher end registered DIMMs, you can get a maximum of 288 gigabytes using 18 16 gigabyte dual rank DIMMs. However, if you, you are using unbuffered memory, you are, you are pretty much limited down to 24 gigs. The main reasoning being that you can only use 2 gig DIMMs along with the fact that you can only use 12 of the 18 spots on board. Now as far as the actual configuration of the memory goes, there are three main ways you're able to do it. Um, there's the most basic and common usage, which is memory optimized mode, which pretty much allows you to use all of the DIMMs on the board, and there's very little actual requirements as far as needing, you know, exact matches with everything. You still want to match, you know, the speed and sizes for the most part, but it's much less, uh, it doesn't require it quite as much as the other two modes. So the next mode we're going to talk about is Advanced ECC. Now that, essentially, what it does is it bridges the two channels closest to the processor together to make a 128-bit lane as opposed to two 64-bit lanes. Now this is only really viable inside of some select uh, uses, so it's actually not really recommended for the most part unless you actually need it for some specific reason. Now the last uh, memory mode that you can use is called memory mirroring. And what that does is that actually you will essentially need to have all of the six matched completely on each side of the processor, and you can only use the first six slots that are closest to the processor. So actually this last channel is completely unusable, and that is also the same with advanced ECC. Now what memory mirroring essentially does is it mirrors the data exactly across each side, however it's able to read from either one. So you get slightly better reads, however you only get half the capacity, because it's mirroring the data across both. Now as far as the configuration, that's what you would see if you're using, for example, advanced ECC or memory mirroring, you would essentially, if you wanted to go the maximum amount for either of those, you would populate the six DIMMs closest to the processor. And again, these last three slots become completely unusable. And then if you did have some reason to want to use advanced ECC or mirrored memory, you would essentially go into the BIOS and you're able to select the memory configuration from within there, and any that your current memory layout support will be selectable. So that should cover everything as far as memory configurations inside of a Dell R710 goes. Um, visit us at velocitytechsolutions.com and hopefully this helped.